Fighter jets can perform what seem like impossible maneuvers high above the clouds. But one of the most amazing moves is how it can refuel in midair. Aerial refueling is the process of transferring fuel from one aircraft, the tanker, to another aircraft, the receiver. It allows the Air Force to conserve fuel by not forcing fighters to seek out and land on a runway in the middle of a mission. It's not that easy. If you think threading a needle is hard, imagine doing it while piloting a $150 million fighter jet. This is all in the name of safety, obviously, because it's an inherently dangerous activity when you get two airplanes that close to each other. That's Major Mike Vilvin. He evaluates pilots who have trained on the KC-135 Stratotanker. Before we even take off, there's anywhere from two to four hours of mission planning and preparation that go into what we're actually going to do. It is paramount um, that our pilots are safe and they are effective and they know exactly uh, the procedures that they're doing before they actually execute. And Major Emily Kubasek is a KC-135 instructor, training the next generation of pilots. Some of the refueling logistics depend on what kind of aircraft are being flown. The U.S. Air Force uses a flying boom system where a long, thin tube extends from the tanker into a receptacle on the receiving aircraft. To begin, the pilots consider what they call altitude blocks which are like little roads in the sky, permanently laid out at different altitudes all over the U.S. The pilots agree on a starting point, an end point, and a meetup time. The tanker generally arrives about 15 minutes before the receiver, who will arrive about 1,000 feet lower than the tanker, but they'll close that distance pretty quickly. The boom is what will run the fuel from the tanker to the receiver. Jets like the F-22 and F-35 have boom receptacles for receiving the fuel from the boom. 